six miles off the Essex coast. It looks like an abandoned oil rig, but this is an occupied nation. It has a royal family, currency, national anthem, flag, and the most bizarre struggle for independence in any island's history. This is the Principality of Sealand. It's not every day you get to meet royalty, but when you do, you don't expect to meet them in a port in Harwich. Ah, morning. I don't know if I should bow or not. We're meeting His Royal Highness Prince James and Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte. And obviously your sister's on board today. She's outside because she's feeling a bit sick. Yeah, she's not so good with both. <laughs> Princess Charlotte's just missed out on another crown, Miss Southend 2010. In 1943, Sealand started life as Fort Ruffs, a 10,000-square-foot gun platform built by the Royal Navy during World War II. Ships leaving Britain's ports were vital in supplying the front line. Fort Ruffs was crucial in the war effort. There were five other gun platforms built in the Thames estuary. They were known as Mounsel Towers, named after the designer who created them. Their job was to have a pop at Nazi bombers flying over the estuary, dropping mines into the shipping lanes. After the war, the Mounsel Towers were decommissioned. James's grandfather, Roy Bates, occupied Sealand in 1967 and set up a pirate radio station. But when the Royal Navy came patrolling nearby, he fired warning shots and was hauled before the courts. Your grandfather was either very brave or maybe a little bit crazy? Eccentric, I think. Eccentric. There have been times when Marines turned up, but my grandma pointed a gun down at them and <laughs> said if they came any further, she'd open fire, so they left as well. Your grandma kept the Royal Marines at bay. She was quite a woman. I've been to Sealand before, but today I'll be elevated as one of its lords. I tell you what, I've never entered a country like this before. Roy Bates made a royal claim on Sealand. Amazingly, months after he'd shot at passers-by, in 1968, a nation was born. Sealand is just outside British territorial waters, so courts ruled the royal Roy could exert state authority and crown himself absolute sovereign. Okay, so we're into the bowels of Sealand now. That's it, yep. Yeah. Um, here we've got our post box here for any outgoing mail. We've got our kitchen here. We've got all the home luxuries out here, like obviously a fully kitted out kitchen. You've got a fire? We do. TV, hi-fi, kind of simple-ish, but I suppose it's comfy. Yep, it's comfy, that's the main thing. We've got the little cat running about. Not sure so you have, is that got. the official Sealand cat? Yeah. Does it have a title? <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of beds for the royals and any visitors, a chapel, even a bit of storage space on the seabed. In 1978, the island of Sealand faced its first assault. German and Dutch businessmen squabbling over a price for the island invaded. Roy's son, Michael, was held hostage by men with moustaches. Yeah, it's only been used the once after the invasion where my father got taken hostage. We had a friend that was a... He flew in all the James Bond films, he was a stunt pilot. So they took the doors off a helicopter and stood on the skids, came out, slid down ropes and took it back. They recaptured Sealand from these Dutch... Brought an armed force back and took it back. For you, Hans, the war was over. So you're going to be responsible for this one day. The same thing could happen again. How, how do you think you would react? Does that scare you? Uh, you have to defend it by any means necessary to your territory, so you do what you have to. OK, I'm not going to invade you. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the national anthem. Ben Fogel, you're presented for the award of Lord of Sealand. If you've got a taste for the royal life, Sealand could be yours. The price tag is 500 million pounds. Until then, its independence lives on. I'm very honoured. Thank you very much. You. We're pleased to welcome you to our family of nobles. Thank you very much, Princess Charlotte. Wow. I'm a lord. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Lord Fogel there, getting a taste of royal life yeah. in the North Sea. I actually thought he was a lord already. It's because Fogel. he's so posh. <laughs> That's why. And, of course, you were born on an island, Sheila. I was. I was born on the Isle of Wight, but they didn't make me a lady. No. Oh. You see? I'd get on to them about that. Yeah, see, well. see. <laughs>